eight, <coughs> seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mellow Man Ace is in the building. Is he not? You know what? <laughs> I can't escape it, man. You know what I mean? We right now, we in L.A. I got to go see the OG. Check in real quick, right? Indeed, indeed. <laughs> so give us a, a introduction to how you got started in the music. First introduction to the game, I had it had to be b-boying. Um, I mean, you know, when we first started watching like those David Letterman shows back in the day with Ken Swift and them dudes mm -hmm. rocking like that, I think that was like the first entry into hip hop for me. You know, right. I, I started as a b-boy. Uh, they used to call me um, Frosty. Uh, frosty? frosty, like oh, frosty, frosty, right, and stuff like that. Um, and no, it, it had nothing to do with Frosty Freeze okay. or anything like that. Um, although I did become, you know, knowledgeable from 3,000 miles away right. of all those brothers. And then, um, after the 1990 move, which is spinning on your hands up that way, right? right? You're basically upside down, yep. spinning on your hand like that. I said, I can't do that move man <laughs> cuz i didn't like being upside down like that right. you know what i mean and i said and that's when the mic came, came calling right and so how did you get the name mellow man ace the name came from uh my partner uh tomahawk funk of, of a group called funk dubious now this was before you know the record deals before the money and all that you know one night we was rhyming out on the block, somebody was banging a beat on a car, and we had one of them little tape recorder joints, mm -hmm. and we was taping the cipher basically. And at the time, my name was Ace Cool, right? Mm -hmm. And and he said, I'm, you know, something to the effect of, and I, I'm in the circle with my with my brother Mellow Man Ace, right? Because mm -hmm. it was Ace Cool. Right. So the next day, you know, we listening back to it to see what we had, you know, put down on it on the tape. And I was like, Mellow Man Ace came out, you know, when he said that, Mellow Man Ace. Because at the time, at that time in hip hop, if somebody was your boy, that was your mellow. Right. You know what I mean? You right, remember that. Right, right, right. And so it, that Mellow Man Ace kind of stuck to me because it was like, at that time, MCs had three names, you know. Right. You had Cool Mo D. Right. You know, Big Daddy Kane. Right. You know, uh, Cool G Rap. You right. know, you name it, right? Everybody had like three names and stuff. LL Cool J, you know, all that stuff. So it stuck. Right. So when did you start taking hip-hop and rapping and lyrics serious? I know that was y'all what y'all was doing on the block. But yeah. When did it become something like you said, you know, I want to do music for real? Like I'm going to tell you, the first time I heard an MC by the name of Mr. Schick mm -hmm. of a group called Bronx. The Mean where, Machine. Where no, he's from the Bronx. Okay. Puerto Rican brother. Uh, he had a record out in 1981 on Sugar Hill Records mm -hmm. with a group called The Mean Machine. And in that song, he busted into a small Spanish verse. Uh, and, and I always said to myself, in 81, I said to myself, if I ever make it and get on, I want to be like that dude. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That could flip the Spanish stuff. So being I was Cuban, right. you know, Afro-Cubano, it made sense. So it kind of showed me my path in life you know right. so okay. 